that's our pane of bulletproof glass. We're basically gonna work our way up through calibers one shot at a time and see what it can handle. We've gotta go take a look at the thickness of this glass. So everyone knows, we have about $15,000 worth of bulletproof glass today, so it better stop something. <laughs> <laughs> See what $15,000 worth of bulletproof glass will stop. And we're starting with this North American Arms <laughs> little 22 five shot revolver. All right, let's see what it does. Gosh, I forgot how small this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> it stopped it. Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's actually pretty cool. No bulging on the back. Yeah, and this is all uh, plexi. Last time we did bulletproof glass, it was actual glass, so it sent a bunch of shards of glass <clears throat> back at us every time we shot. So that is the hit on a 22 right yeah. there. The one thing I'm seeing that I'm a little worried about is there's no bullet in there. <laughs> it went somewhere. Which means it exploded and it came back our direction a little bit, so. Nothing at all. No bulging on the back whatsoever. All right. Let's do one nine. There it is. Nine millimeter. Let's step it up. Here, nine millimeter first. Let's do 38. 38's already right here. Yep. I'll trade you. What do we got? All right, now we're doing 38 special. This is a Rossi Model 92 lever action. All right, we got our eye protection. And we're giving it two inch spacing on these first shots because that's the NIJ national standard of rating is two inch spacing in between each shot. Right. Nerd. <laughs> When you look down the side and look through the glass, you literally can't see any indentation. That is all being caught oh, wow, in yeah. first layer and bubbling out instead of cupping back in. Get a better focus on it. There we go. That's pretty wild. I'm kind. Of, I'm. I'm excited to see bigger rounds go into this. Yeah. I'm also getting more and more confident for video number two, which <laughs> you're gonna have to watch video number two. It's <laughs> sketchy as. <laughs> <laughs> That is crazy. So it went through the first layer and then just spread out on the inside other than that. And there's that like shock wave that went all the way around it. And on this one, there's no bulging on the backside whatsoever. So that was completely absorbed by the front. <laughs> all right, now we're doing nine millimeter out of this Culper Precision <laughs> Custom Glock 19. You ready? Yep. Oh. Ooh. All right. That's, that's cool. That's really cool. That is so cool. You can see it's all catching it in this first layer. There's still zero penetration through the, the depth. Um, but yeah, you can see it. So this happens inside your body, you guys. All this, these little pieces going all around. That's what happens in your body when you get shot. That's not a good day. <laughs> I can't believe how it just shredded. Next we're doing 45 ACP out of this Rock Island Armory 1911. Woo! That really shows you velocity difference between 45 and nine millimeter. By this spread on that, look how much narrower, the, the, how much more narrow this spread is than it is with a nine millimeter. That's a, uh, that's a big, heavy, slow round compared to. <laughs> now, people don't realize it because nine millimeter is smaller, but this is a, a much more penetrative round. Like I would much rather get shot wearing bulletproof anything with 45 than I would with nine millimeter. Cause this will punch you and it'll hurt, but this penetrates a lot better. So that kind of uh, shows it really well here. And still nothing through the back. Yeah, nothing through the back, nothing even through the first layer. You can still look down the side and not see any defects. Bank tellers are pretty safe, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. Now we're running 556 five, out of this uh, custom built AR15, uh, also built by Culper Precision. Ready? Yep. Got it. it. That might have gone, gone through. It went through. No way. Yeah. Well, I, like, that I, saw, going I saw the dirt hitting the back yeah, of that went yeah. straight through. Yeah, that, that went, went through. through. Well, there you have it. Great for pistols, bad for rifles. So if you're going to rob a bank, <laughs> use a rifle. <laughs> Man, I guess wow. just not robbing the bank. If you want wow. to kill someone at the bank, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. You can, you can that still... has me questioning video number two. We still have three more calibers to go that are all rifle rated, and this is probably one of the least devastating ones. Wow. Yeah, the AK might be... Might, it's slower. because it's slower and bigger. But, but it's 30 caliber. Yeah. 
I can't believe that went right through. Yeah. But man, you can clearly see like how there's nothing for the pistols. Like this is no problem for pistols at all, but for rifles, you can see it go all the way through down the side. That's wild. Well, yeah. even though it went through, let's step it up. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're doing 762 by 39 out of this custom built AK. Lots of cool companies that'll be in the description because this is a sponsored build. <laughs> Wow. I think that also went through. Yeah, I heard the metal. Dude, I'm destroying your metal frame, I'm sorry. Yeah, that also went through. Oh yeah, no You'd problem. be super dead. Super dead. You would for sure be dead. That yeah. hurt. That's a, uh, yeah, that's a bad day if you're the teller. Uh, I can, I'm still like impressed with what it's doing for handguns, but I'm a little disappointed on what it's doing for rifles. Yeah, yeah really. It's just... If Skeletor comes into the bank with an AK, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> That's a reference from the movie The Town. All of you should go watch it because it's amazing. <laughs> this is 308. Also, also a sponsored build. Parts list in the description. Uh, this is 308 out of an AR-10. Custom built by Culper Precision. Oh. oh, safe to say you're royally screwed if someone walks into the 308. Oh. <laughs> so you're super dead with this. It went right through. But what what I'm seeing from this is that we need to do something a little cooler for the 50 BMG. I think we can do that. Oh yeah. Wow. This is no match for rifles. So yeah. Art. I put that on my house. That's so thick and it just goes right through. This is the biggest one we brought. This is 50 BMG courtesy of Culper Precision. And uh, we're going to shoulder fire at it even though this thing weighs like 40 pounds. Yeah, it's as tall as you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely dead. Oh, that made me flinch. <laughs> A hundred percent, that teller is gone. Guys, that might have penetrated. <laughs> That's the first one that I actually hit your metal frame with an actual bullet. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that one's done. Based on that, I'm pretty determined to stop this 50 cal. So I think we have one more thing we're going to do in this video. In terms of actual shoot and see before we pull out full autos. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Miles, what are we doing? We're stacking sheets. We got more. I told you we had we had fifteen thousand dollars worth of glass. It wasn't this one pane. We have lots of glass. Lots of glass. So we're stacking them. We're gonna see if the fifty stops. I think we have four four well have four panes total that we'll have stacked thick, and we'll see if the fifty gets stopped anywhere in there. What are you filming me wider so I stand like a girl? I know I stand like a girl. It's more comfortable, okay? There's a reason girls stand like that. <laughs> no, it wasn't focusing on your face. <laughs> it keeps focusing on the dirt behind you. Uh -huh. There we go. I was trying to get a focus. There we go. All right, so with our lack of success with this glass stopping rifles, we are putting three $5,000 pieces of plexiglass all together to try to stop these bullets. We'll see if this will actually work. I'm not sure what we're starting with, but. You say you're against it? I said I advised against it. I didn't. I support it. Against <laughs> this? What? what? Not this one. I'm just nervous about what's happening next. Oh. But you'll yeah. have to watch the next video to see what's happening <laughs> next. I support, support it full heartedly. All right, so now we have three panes all leaned up against each other. One more round of 50 cal. We're gonna see if it, if any of those three panes stops it. <laughs> it went through all three panes. Did it really? You don't even have to walk up to that. It went through all three panes. No way. Yeah, it smoked right through it. <laughs> that makes me flinch. <laughs> that looks pretty cool though. Jesus. What? Wow. Look yeah, that. that smoked through all three panes. Wow. No problem. <laughs> wow. One, two, three, all the way through. It looks cool. So if you're a banker and someone walks in with a 50 cal, you're... you run. 
Don't care how many pieces of bulletproof glass you're behind, you run. We stepped it all the way up and nothing's stopping it. So now we're stepping it back down in the rifles until we can stop one of these bullets in these three panes. We're back down on 308. You ready? Yep. That might have oh, stopped, it. stopped it. I think that stopped it in the second paint. Yeah. That stopped in the second paint. Oh, that's cool. You can, you can see the copper piece of the copper jacket right here. This is something we got special for you. This is a full auto Glock 19C. Uh, courtesy of Culper Precision. So we're gonna load up a 30 round stick mag with this Rainier Munitions 9 mil and uh, just put 30 rounds into it and see what it looks like. Full auto Glock 19C, 30 round stick mag. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> they might be dead. If not from bullets, from crushing weight. <laughs> well, it stopped it all, but whoever's behind it is killed by the crushing weight of three panes of bulletproof glass landing on them. <laughs> Look at all this lead, man. I feel like we've done pretty much all we can do with what we brought, so we're just gonna load this thing up with some hollow points and uh, make some art and message me if you wanna buy it. 10 grand, I'm already pricing it right now, 10 grand. That's expensive glass. And then we're gonna move on to video number two which I'm really excited and really not excited all at the same time. If you haven't figured out what video number two is by now, you don't know me well enough. We're pretty much done. We have one sheet left. Uh, we've thrown everything we brought at those other panes, and I mean, you saw everything it did. Works great for pistols, really terrible for rifles. Uh, so now we're just gonna throw 30 hollow points at this clean sheet and make some art and uh, out of this full auto Glock. And if you wanna buy it, just message me. Let me know when. Go for it. Oh, that I looks feel so like cool. We just keep everyone that wants to shoot the full auto Glock just shoot at this. Look at this. This one top layer is coming out because they're grouped tighter, maybe. <laughs> it could also be the type of hollow points. Yeah, that's true. Mine were subsonic mag tags. Yeah, these that are really perfect. cheap hollow points. Wow. These are hollow points I bought on accident because of the price. I bought them and then realized they were hollow points. So. <laughs> that's awesome. You all right?